What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. As time goes on, I notice it seems like the album cover is starting to become a lost art. Before we see a music video, the album cover is the first visual representation of the music included. The sight of certain album covers can bring back nostalgia or other memories before even listening to one of the songs. Whether a classic beauty shot or an artistic interpretation, let's take a look at some of R&B's most iconic album covers. First, we have Whitney Houston with her debut album, Whitney Houston. And right off the back, I can see it's giving real class portrait vibes. Y'all know what I'm saying? And she just looks really elegant and refined. And I love the orange tones mixed with the white tones, the pearls. And it's just like a really classy picture. And I love how they had the background have like that nature look to it. And you can see the orange flowers match with her outfit. And this is just Whitney really showing herself. Her debut album, you know, you want to make the best first impression. She looks really poised. And I always thought that she had like a short haircut here, but with time I realized her hair was just slicked back. So it really gives you a chance to focus on not only her outfit, but how beautiful she really was. And is it me or is she giving like that rich auntie vibe? You know what I'm saying? Like she comes around, she gives the nephews and nieces money here and there. You know what I'm saying? She dresses a certain way, acts a certain way. Just off this picture alone, she has that stature of confidence. Like, yeah, you play this album, you about to be blown away with this voice. And we surely were. Next, we have Janet Jackson with Control. And watch this. The theme of red is going to come up a lot for the albums I pick. I love how the album grabs your attention right away. With the contrast of colors, the red mixed with that black and white picture, mixed with the yellow drawn over it. And just her pose and the hair and the outfit gives off a sophistication. But with the drawings and the yellow lines, it still has that fun vibe to it. And even though her pose and her hair and the outfit gives off a sophisticated look, everything else around it gives off like that carefree nature, a fun nature that she was really in control. Especially if you know the history of Janet Jackson, this was not her first album, but this was her breakthrough album where she really had control over her image and the song she wanted to make. And you can see how fun the album cover looked that even if you thought about her first two albums and you was like, mm, this one made like, wow, okay, this is a little different. It's a little fun. It's intriguing. You know, this was the Janet Jackson from Good Times. This was a Janet Jackson from Fame. This was the Janet Jackson from the first two albums followed behind her brothers. This was Janet Jackson on her own terms. Next, we have Anita Baker with rapture and i just love the warmness that this gives like she's giving herself a hug and you can just feel the embrace and the warmth that the music on this album is going to bring you i love the contrast of the colors the black with the gray and you can see her shadow that black outfit you know i love how her skin pops against the colors i love that haircut y'all know that haircut you know some people call it the auntie haircut now but that was a popular haircut back then Everything just blends and works out perfectly. And even looking at this more, it gives off like a soft, intimate, romantic vibe to it. Just looking at the cover alone. Another word I get from this is cozy because this album is a listening experience and each song just takes you to a cozy, relaxed state. Now we have TLC with Crazy Sexy Cool. And talk about Red Light Special, right? <laughs> Remember when I said the color red was going to come up a lot. I feel like the color red is a color of power. I love how with this album, you can see all three of them. It's like a beauty shot above the neck. They're staring intensely into the camera. The harsh red contrast. You get to see the features of their hair, their eyebrows, and their eyes the most. But with the three of them staring so intensely, right? It's like an intense look, but it's a soft look. Y'all know what I'm saying? But just looking at it, you get to see three different personalities just based off the hairstyles alone. And this is one of those albums that just grabs your attention. Another thing I also love is the title, Crazy Sexy Cool. You know how you have like, okay, capital, then you have the lowercase. I love how in the middle of certain letters, they have uppercase. So it gives it that nice zany look, kooky look, but it works. And the real fans know who was considered the crazy who was considered the sexy, who was considered the cool. But looking at this album cover alone, each of those adjectives could go to either one of them. Now we move on to Mariah Carey, Butterfly album. And right off the back, I always love this album. I always love the color toning, the contrast of the colors, but how well the colors blended together. I love that gold satin top, 
the way her stomach is showing and she has like the nice jewelry around it with the charms the way the pants go with the background the way her hair and the colors of her hair the texture of her hair the way her hair blends you know had the black roots it goes out to that brown honey color and just how honey was one of the top singles from this album and i feel like honey was the theme for the album cover because just based off the colors alone i feel i get i sense honey smooth and i love the pose how she has the butterfly and you really look at it this is one of those album covers where she didn't have to put the word butterfly the butterfly that she's holding that little accessory of a butterfly she's holding that was enough for people to realize okay you know how most albums have the artist name they have the album name all they really needed was her name and just her holding a butterfly to symbolize that this is what the album was called and speaking more about it i love how soft and strong the pose is you can see like her clavicle bone is really sharp and just how her hair is blowing smoothly her hair is all over the place in a smooth way right but her face still has a soft look to it and overall this is just great photography a great pose perfect outfit and perfect color matching and toning now we have alia with her self-titled album alia this is always going to be one of my favorite album covers not just because it's alia just look at it i love the pose the pose always reminded me of like her inhaling like the photographer took this picture while she was in the middle of an inhale and it's just a smooth confidence that vibrates off of this picture i love how her hair is placed how the wind blew her hair but you get to see at the bottom those little curls it's just a new look for her it's a fresh look for her if you look at alia's last albums her first two she always had the sunglasses she was always covered up you know maybe it was a safety thing maybe it was like a security thing but i feel like this album was her coming out and her step into like her more feminine side the tomboy era i feel like she always had that in her but as far as like her visual her image this had more of that feminine touch to it that feminine spark to it and i love how they chose red as the color theme to this because the red like i said red keeps coming up red is such a powerful color and the way her hair the darkness of her hair really contrasts with that red and i love how the top she has on is almost the same color they use for her name going across and i love the twist they put on the letter a where you know how a is supposed to look but they gave it its own special touch and this is one of those album covers that i used to look at and just stare at and just see all the different detail from her long slither earrings to the white nail polish everything just complements each other and also another thing i just noticed is how you see where the letter i is right under the eye you get to see like her belly button poking through the shirt there's little details like that and just looking at the whole overall image this was really alia at her peak alia at her best and for all the fans that really know the songs on this album the perfect song from this album that reminds me of the album cover is it's whatever you yeah, know how smooth and slow the song just reminds me of like the summertime like a summer breeze this picture just evokes that theme of a summer breeze almost as if she was breathing fresh air into her career and all of the things that were supposed to come up next we have beyonce with dangerously in love her debut album and this is always one of those albums that demands your attention from the glittery diamond shining top to like how toned her stomach is to the jeans i love that blue shade they picked as a background i love the pose y'all know beyonce is always with the dramatics it really works on this pose i love the way her hair blows the way her arm is shaped to the way the hair blows that's a perfect balance of space she takes up just enough space while leaving some to really see the contrast of everything going on and this look really just has a glamorous urban edge to it not to mention how i love how the earrings she has also matches her top and that's just a really unique top like just looking at it the way the top is draped to the way she makes that shape with her arms and it drapes under her arms that was a perfect choice for the outfit and mixing that top with those jeans really gives it that perfect contrast of what the album was going to bring you from like the glamour songs to the urban songs to the slow songs to just a mixture of different moods and emotions i also love how her skin glows on this album if you really get to see a hd version of it her skin really glows and pops just like her hip <laughs> 
Overall, this album cover just presents Beyonce as self-assured, self-confident, and smooth, but fierce. Now we move on to The Diary of Alicia Keys by Alicia Keys. And this is one of those albums that I just love staring at. I remember when my mother bought this album, I used to just look at the cover and look at the back of it. I love the color theme they chose for this album the different shades of brown. I love the outfit, the top she has on. And I love how they have her braids going down to the side. I love how they cut half her face off to go with the side of the piano. And I love how it's a wooden piano. It's different than, you know, the black and white keys. Wooden piano has such a rustic look to it. And it has like an aged look to it that adds to the symbolism in this album. The symbolism to me, I interpret this as being like the diary. Usually a diary would be written in a book but for Alicia Keys, the diary is the songs she plays and writes while she's at the piano. This wooden piano right next to her that obviously has been played a lot. It has age to it. It has history to it from all of the entries in her diary. Up next, My Life by Mary J. Blige. This is always going to be a top album for me. But regarding to the album cover, one of the first things I noticed is that rustic blue color. It's like that dark shade of blue mixed with a little bit of black, mixed with a little bit of gray. That was the perfect color choice, the perfect color scheme for this. And even though this is more of like a headshot, I love how she has the hat covering her eyes where you can see like a little shadow, but you can see her eyes. Because if y'all remember her first album was a 4 on one the hat she had on completely covered her eyes. You couldn't even see it. But in this second album, My Life, she's giving us a sneak peek at her life. You get to see a sneak peek of her eyes this time. I love that French braid coming down the side. I love the earrings and the little bit of glow that that brings to this image. And really listening to the album, listening to the songs, reflecting on them. I love the expression she has. There's a toughness to it, but there's a softness to her expression as well. Because sharing pieces of your life through music could make you feel vulnerable, but it could also be freeing for you as well. And another thing that's iconic about this album is I love when artists have their own logos or signatures. I love that Mary J. Blige signature. I always did. I always will. And last but not least, we have The Miseducation of Lauryn Hill by Lauryn Hill. Now, this is one of those artistic interpretations I was talking about. And this is just the perfect embodiment of it. I love how they have her face etched in the desk. I love how they have the dreadlocks flowing. I love the expression on her face. I also love the color scheme here. And I love how they had that wooden finish, that wooden look. Because Miss Education, Education, School, that could have been a basic concept. But if anybody's old enough to remember, y'all know back in the days, some classrooms had them old wooden desks where if you really wanted to, you could take a pencil or whatever and carve something into the desk. And I love how they carved her face into the desk. And at the top, it was that little slit, that little slot for the pencil. Perfect. Because not only was Lauren Hill educating us on the social issues and relationship issues that many could relate to around the world at that time. And even now she was educating us on herself as an artist, telling us that this is who I am as an artist. Y'all might have a miseducation of me, but I'm educating y'all on how I am as an artist. I don't need the Fugees. I don't need Wacklef John. I could do this on my own. And she surely succeeded. And this is one of those album covers that almost reminds me of like an autobiography. Like this could be a book cover as well. And with that concludes the album cover reactions until part two. Do y'all want a part two? What are some of your favorite iconic R&B album covers? You know, the ones that's ingrained in your memory that you can instantly recognize were some of the album covers I listed your favorite and why? Let's discuss it down below. Please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching and listening. I'll see y'all in the next video.